What's up? My name is Doug, the Bearded Outdoorsman. Welcome to another video. If you enjoy beard product reviews, gear reviews, EDC videos, then you have definitely come to the right channel. Today, final thoughts for Bearded Sons Beard Company. And you're the beard. So stay tuned through the intro. <music> guys welcome back so today like i said final thoughts for bearded sons beard company and year of the beard april edition so we're going to talk about the stuff we use during the month of april we had three oils three butters and a beard wash or beard suds so let's jump in so i'm gonna randomly grab one over here and we'll see which one we get first so the first one leather up all right, so this was one of our first ones we did. I think our first update video was Leather Up. Ingredients on all the oils. Jojoba, apricot, avocado, sweet almond oil, argan, scents of leather, sweet tobacco, and vanilla on Leather Up. But all the, all the oils have the same ingredients. Jojoba, apricot, avocado, sweet almond, argan oils. That is it. All right, so give a good shake for Leather Up. Oh. And it is leather. It is leather to a T. Smells amazing. Um, pretty clear oil. Pulls up almost an entire dropper when you get a good squeeze on it. And this was an amazing oil. The oils, period. This, this carrier base is amazing. It did wonderful for my beard. My beard feels super healthy after one solid month. I can tell you um, I really enjoyed using the, these products. The next one we'll talk about the leather up in the butter. So the butter, all the butters, same ingredients. Jojoba, apricot, avocado, sweet almond, and argan oils with shea butter and beeswax. And it is a good, creamy, not too thick, not too thin beard butter. Um, it is white in color. And yes, so really good. Beard butters did amazing. Use them at night. Really got a good uh, base on conditioning my beard overnight. Just did a really good job. Um, there were some days I went just oil, and some days I went oil and butter. But I can tell you I was not dissatisfied if I went only oil during the day. Um, so, yes, great products on that end. But Leather Up, it's a really good scent. Check out my update on it. Next one we'll talk about, if I can find the oil, the matching oil, we'll talk about the Foreman. So the Foreman scent profile is cedar, leather, and musk. So we got that leather in there again, all right? And oh, you get that leather, you get that musk, you get that cedar. But another clear oil. This is on, the oils are not too light, too heavy. They're in that middle range. They're just a really good, really good consistency. I really like that. But the first thing you get out of here is that cedar. A cedar hits you, and then you follow up with that leather and that musk, and it's just so smooth. Smells really, really good. Same with the butter. Butter smelt just like it. And then last oil and butter combo we have is the Journeyman. The scent on this is um, orange, pear, cedar leaf, plum, rose, pine, grapefruit, lime, and tonka bean. All right. You just get that complex overload of everything that I just read in that little bottle. It smells really good. It's complex, but it just picks up different things throughout the day. Really good scent. It is really hard to rank these, which we're going to get to in just a few minutes, but... And then the matching butter. It smells just like the oil. And then the beard suds. This was our last update that just, um, just did the other day. And... Um, works amazing a little bit goes a long way cleans your beard makes your beard feel clean but not like that stripped down pine tar charcoal soap stripped down it just does a really good job of cleansing your beard and helping it feel clean and healthy uh, really good job of that that castile soap one thing i love about this beard wash is the ingredients jojoba oil apricot oil avocado oil almond oil and pure castile soap that is all that's in here. Um, no crazy ingredients, nothing that you have to Google and look up and figure out what it is and if it's good for your beard or not. This is simple and to the point and works really, really well. So I really like this. 
Um, so you can go to each one of my update videos and I talk about prices. So I'm not gonna talk about prices today. I'm just gonna talk about how everything did. Now, over the course of the month, uh, you can see my beard right now. Beard Suds did an amazing job over an entire month of getting my beard clean and stripping out whatever I was using the day before if I needed to. Um, I use it about every three days, roughly. Uh, so it did a good job of kind of giving me a good reset. Uh, definitely would use it in between weeks, in between scents, just so I could get a, a, a fresh start on that. So it did a really good job. And like I said, if I got out, it's starting to get really good warm here. Um, if I got out and got a little sweaty and nasty, did a good job of getting that, getting my beard good and deep cleaned, but not that stripping um, where your beard almost squeaks when you pull it, when you get out the shower and you guys know what I mean. Um, so we had the three scents that we had, Leather Up, uh, The Foreman, and The Journeyman. Now these were all three remarkable scents, but I'm gonna rank them for you. Um, but before we do that, let's talk about the website. So the website is very, very well laid out. Um, highly recommend, even if you don't make a purchase, get over there and check out the website at Bearded Sons. It's really well laid out. It's a really nice website. Um, easy to navigate, easy to find what you're looking for. Um, so definitely go look at that. Um, talking about the labels, let's talk about the labels real quick. I kind of hit on them some in the videos, but the labels are clean, but yet they have a lot of information on them. They're almost like a, a clean, classy label. I, I really like their logo, uh, but the, the labels are just really clean. Tell you what you need to know. You've got ingredients, you've got the scent, um, the scent ingredients. You've got made in Texas over here and you've got directions. So simple to the point, not clouded with a bunch of stuff. And uh, yeah, not taken away from like the, the colorful labels because they usually add a little pop to it. But sometimes simple is good too. So I, I really like this, um, really clean labels. So we've talked about website, we've talked about labels, we've talked about how the products have done in my beard and how my beard feels after a month of using nothing but Bearded Sons Beard Company products in my beard. My beard feels amazing, okay? It feels absolutely amazing. Uh, so definitely go check out. There'll be a link in the description below for Bearded Sons. Go check it out. So I'm gonna rank these three cents. Now, normally when I have fewer than three, of course I don't rank them, but I have three cents. So we're gonna rank these and I'm gonna tell you which one is my favorite. If I can hold on to them. So my least my least favorite of the three is going to be the Journeyman. Now, it's a good scent, it's complex. My reason behind it being number three is just because there is so much stuff in there. You get something different every time, but I, I, I like that, but I also like the consistency of these and knowing what I'm gonna get when I put it in my beard. Nothing against that. Some people really, really like the, the complex scent of this. And uh, so definitely check it out, The Journeyman, if you're interested in those complex scents. And again, we all know that scents are, are subjective. So what I, may, what I may rank these at, you may think otherwise. My number two scent is going to have to be Leather Up. Uh, it's an amazing scent. Uh, I've used probably more of it than I have the others, but it is number two only because the Foreman is better. I like the Foreman because it's the leather, but it's also got cedar in there. And that cedar is what hits you first in the nose. And it smells so flipping amazing. It is just a really, really good scent. Oh, it's almost that cedar and that leather together almost give it almost like a, a cologne, but it's definitely a manly scent. You will not go wrong with that. Um, but definitely the Foreman, that's my pick. That's my number one. So if you're interested, go check out Bearded Sons and yeah, go make a purchase, show them some love and let them know that the Bearded Outdoorsman sent you. And that's all I've got for today, guys. That is the end of April. It is the end of April. So uh, make sure to stay tuned for next month. It's a whole new month tomorrow and uh, we're gonna jump on a new company in the morning. So we did that uh, unboxing video yesterday. So check that out and uh, let's keep rolling with Year of the Beard. And uh, yeah, until next time, stay bearded, get outdoors, and God bless.